Wow. This thing thing is so epic. (laughs) Thank you. I'm so so glad you liked it. Oh my God. Or are liking it. I am loving it. (laughs) And I want to know, do you have any of those memories of of the original movie? I, yes, yes. Oh I mean, God. I was a little on the young side when it came out. It came out in 1980. Right. So it would have been really inappropriate for me to see it then. <laughs> but I do remember seeing it a little, it's, it was still, I was still young and it was a strange movie. You know, I didn't, I'd never seen anything like anything it. Anything like it, right. Yeah, and it was like the fashion and Los and it was Angeles moving, and, but it was still moving in a weird way. Yes, you know, it was very yes, emotional. It had moving. a kind of, um, I mean, yes, the character is a gigolo, but it had this kind of lonely vibe in it. And anyway, it's a very, it's a, it, now it's contemporary. We've put it, you know, in this time I, period. So it I'm just changes such a it completely. Spoiler. <laughs> you are going to have to help me through this because I'm such a spoiler. I can do the no, it's shorthand version. Short, of right. The, he's in, been in prison mm. for 15 years. So he goes in 2006 for a crime he didn't commit, for murder he didn't commit. So he's been set up for murder. He comes out in the present day and he does he go back to work? What does he do? The, the landscape of this That's all in like the first completely. minute. Uh, and John Bernthal, is that how you say his name? That's, I always add an yeah. extra syllable, Bernthal. I'm such a geek for John him, Bernthal, I told yeah. her. This was like watching a final at the US Open or something. <laughs> it was so good. You were the best. It was so good. Yeah, he was fantastic to work what with. What was and the he experience great like? I mean, it was, you know, it was interesting because we shot the, the um, pilot during like the deep, COVID time. So, you know, it was a very, it, it was strange to be on set. It was strange to be doing this kind of material, which had so much intimacy. I was to just going to say to do and something so intimate and powerful, emotionally, yeah. really hard work. It was, but we were during all, a time where everybody's detached. Yes. And it was nice to just be back at work with such wonderful Rosie O'Donnell, Wayne Brady, like all this. Rosie amazing. O'Donnell is outrageous. She's amazing. I mean, just fantastic actor. So, so fantastic. Yeah. In this, and to know that you guys did that during COVID it trips me out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because it was very. It was strange when we too. were all so far apart. Mm-hmm. I think putting the story in a contemporary time, you couldn't tackle this kind of material without addressing right. the sort of the sexual trauma and all of that, which would in, go into if you know being a gigolo. Like, how does one become a gi- why? Why? You know, why and does why this does this, and why does this woman fall in love with him? Right. And so, what's her story? And so, we really do try to um, open up. Like the premise of it was so ripe with things to explore, and um, I think the show does a really good job of it's doing. It's really that. beautiful and very contemporary and like of the moment. <laughs> Really, 